I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. Hey y'all, it's Kay from The Literary Apothecary and today I've got something different for you all. Today I'm going to be talking about the favorite books I've read in 2022 in the different genres that I've read them in. This was a request by, I believe it was Jake at The Bookish Drummer. I put out a feeler for books that you guys, uh, guys want to see me do for the end of the year and this was one of them. So I gave myself a couple rules. No rereads are counted in this list. Um, I counted only the books that I gave five stars and I chose only one per genre with a couple special mentions or um, what do you call it? I forget what it's called. But yeah, so without further ado, here is my favorite books in each genre from 2022. So far, this is up to December 19th. So maybe there will be some ones added in here at the end of the, in the last two weeks of the month. But as always, next year in January, I'll be doing my favorite books of 2022 tournament of books um, where I have just about all of the books that I've read in there. So that will account for the books going forward that are in this list that I haven't finished yet. For classics, we have, there was just one book in this list that was not a reread and was five stars. And that is The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. This book found me at just the right time. Oscar Wilde's humor and wit were on high display in this book and I absolutely loved it. Um, under horror, we had two books that fell under this category under the circumstances. I chose Middle Game by Shauna McGuire, which some might say is more fantasy than horror. I thought it was pretty horror-ish, um, but I'm also a chicken in the horror genre, so there's that. And this book, I have not been able to stop thinking since I read it. So this was an easy choose for me. Fantasy was probably the hardest one to pick because I had 12 books, 12 reads that fell under this category. And I'll actually be talking about each one of these books in another video coming soon, which was a recommendation from Tiffany at A Beautiful Minute. She asked me to do do a video on all of my favorite fantasy reads. So I'll be talking about all 12 of these books in a different video. The book that I um, chose as my absolute favorite, I had to go with Jade Legacy by Fonda Lee. This book was absolutely incredible. No, Alan, it was not life-changing, but it was definitely one of the best books I read this entire year. Um, I was just blown away by it. And so then for um, science fiction, we had five books that fell under science fiction. I read a lot more science fiction this year than I had in the past. And our was The Space Between Worlds by Micaiah Johnson. This was a patron pick picked by Lena at Lauren Lullabies. And I loved this book so much. I couldn't stop thinking about this book. And this is one that I recommend time and time again. It's a standalone. It's a short, quick read. And I absolutely loved it. But I also have a special mention for science fiction, and that is Blue Haven by Lisa King because this book was different than any other book I ever read. It had such a unique take that I had to bring out this special mention about it. Nonfiction, we had three books that fell under this, and I'm actually going to talk about each one. Um, the book that I chose as the winner for nonfiction is Stamped Racism, Anti-Racism, New by Jason Reynolds and Ibram X. Kennedy. Jason Reynolds took Ibram's book for adults, Stamped from the beginning, and adapted it to an YA audience, and I thought he did such an amazing job with this book. Um, and then my two special mentions, the other two books that fell under this category were The Good Neighbor by Maxwell King and The Collected Schizophrenia, which both were outstanding books. Um, one was a biography and one was a set of essays. I loved both of them. Under historical fiction, we had six books that fell under this category. Um, the one that was the standout for me was Augustus by John Williams. You guys have heard me talk about this book time and time again. I reread this book almost immediately after finishing it and I loved it so much. It was out of the six books that were under this, it was the most historical out of the historical fiction. A lot of other books were more historical fantasy, which is becoming a favorite of mine. Um, 
Speaking of historical fantasy, my special mention for this is the embroidered book and the bear and the nightingale. These two were very historical fantasy in their own ways. So the embroidered book was more historical with fantasy in there. And um, the bear and the nightingale was more fantasy with a little bit of history in there. And I love both those. I could not not talk about them. And I'll actually have a review coming out tomorrow on Wednesday for the embroidered book. So stay tuned for that. Um, for romance, we had just one that fell under this category. And that's just last night by Mary Mahiri McFarlane. I still don't know how to say her name correctly, but this book was absolutely fantastic. It had twists and turns that I was not expecting in a romance book. I loved it. And then our last category we have is the mystery thriller. And that we had three books that fell under this. Um, the winner I chose was The Violent Conspiracy by Brendan Slocum. And Next weekend on the 31st, New Year's Eve, I'll actually be on a live show with Leslie at the Nerdy Narrative talking about this book for the Wine and Crime Book Club. I loved it so much. Um, and then a special mention for a mystery thriller was Razorblade Tears by S.A. Crosby because y'all, I couldn't stop thinking. This book made me, after I finished reading it and even during reading it several moments, I had to set this book down and step away because it was so intense and so... So those are my picks for all the genres that I read this year. Um, let me know in the comments below what were some of your favorite books that you read in the different genres that I've talked about here. Have you read the books that I talked about? Let me know what you thought of them in the comments below. As always, my Patreon and my Discord information will be in the description below. Keep reading and I love y'all to the moon and back. Bye.